And here's the video review for Transformers Universe Overload. Um, he's a repaint of the uh, Cybertron Scattershot or Cybertron Defense Scattershot mold. Um, I picked him up because I missed the original version and I thought these colors were better than the drop shot colors. Um, so I picked him up. Um, one thing I usually do is he does have this gun for robot mode and it does have a peg back here and he's got a couple minicon pegs so I usually just keep the uh, gun peg onto the side like that. Um, not a whole lot to speak of in vehicle mode. He rolls. Um, he's got these little cow catcher things that you can move up on the front. Um, and his turret does um, this turn. And we just have some weapon pods up in here that you can flip out, but I'll show those when we get to robot mode. I think they're more impressive in robot mode than popping them off here. Um, transformation of robot mode is quite simple. You just want to flip these feet down, flip these pieces back. Uh, and then from underneath, you want to pull these pieces down, rotate them, and then there's a little tab here. This plugs right onto the tab. And do the same over here. Split the legs. And then you basically want to just take this whole top half, split it. Um, like that. And then from behind, flip the head up and snap it right there. And then again, you can, you can hold this rifle in robot mode. Um, and there he is in robot mode. I'm um, again a nice mold. He's got the missile launchers on his arms. And um, very cool. Now I, I told you about weapons features. Um, he does have a cyber key like all the other Cybertron figures. Um, but this on this right arm you can slide this piece down and then when you plug the uh, cyber key into the back of this one a gun pops out. It's got like a longer rifle there, um, and, it's, and it's cool because as it flips out, it's got a little peg that looks like he's, you know, he's that's actually a gun in his hand, um, which is kind of cool. And much the same on this side. Um, this one doesn't slide, so it stays in place. But it opens up. We straighten out his arm again. It's got a little peg to make it look like he's holding it, um, and then you slide this forward, and he's got a couple missiles that can actually launch out of there. Um, if you want, a little targeting site comes up. And again, you can deploy both of those in vehicle mode as well, but I think it looks cooler here in uh, robot mode. Um, he's definitely armed and definitely capable of defending Cybertron, or at least himself. And then when you're done, you just pull these back up. I find it helps if you put your finger like right back here on the back and push it to click it back into place. They can be a little bit of a pain to just snap back in unless you actually hear it click. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely glad I picked up the mold. I've had it recommended to me several times um, and never got around to you know paying extra for the old Cybertron Defense scattershot mold. Um, so when I saw Overload come out um, I picked him up and I'm very glad I did. I highly recommend this figure. Um, like I said, if you, if, you come and, if you see him and Leo Prime on the shelf um, I'd definitely pick him over Leo Prime. Leo Prime's okay. Um, he's not a bad figure, but he's not a great figure. and he, he's, he's not a perfect figure here, Overload, um, but he's a pretty damn good figure, so I, I definitely recommend picking one up. Um, there he goes. Transformers Universe Overload.